Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the two-game slate uh, for this Monday night's uh, very unique setup. Uh, both games start at the same time, so there's no opportunity to late swap. And it's not as hairy as a showdown slate, meaning, yes, you do need to try to get unique, but you don't have to go completely off the wall. Um, it's a very, very interesting DFS day in general. You have four-game NHL slates, 13-game NBA slates, and two showdown slates in the NFL and one two-game slate. So it does test your ability to deal with different sports and different uh, sizes, so to speak. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a lineup build with the uh, true DFS projections. And again, it's, 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 yes, it's designed to show you what tonight's slate could look like, but it's more, uh, more designed to continue to teach you process on how to attack slates like this in the future. And, and again, I, I think it's important to do both. I, I know that, I mean, I could just do a video on how to build lineups and I could do a video on what to play tonight, but I think that, that just how to build lineups is not very timely. No, and and who, who, who do I like tonight doesn't really help. So what I'd like to do with these lineup builds to show you how to build lineups specifically with this slate in mind. Um, and the, the idea is that if I do this video and I haven't taught you anything other than who's going to play, you know, who to play tonight, and I haven't done my job and I'm not going to probably upload it. <clears throat> so anyway, what we're going to do today is a little bit different because <laughs> We're going to actually use the true DFS, <coughs> excuse me, um, the true DFS interface with SaberSim. Um, if you're a true DFS SaberSim subscriber, usually what happens is the projections merge. Like you get a, a column where the true DFS projections show up over here. Um, like, for example, like Goldie's projections are showing up over here. Uh, mine are, are not. Okay. Um, so we have to figure out why that is. Um, anyway, for now, we're going to then show you how to upload my projections manually from the site, and then we're going to proceed. So first, we're going to go into NFL projections. And we're going to DraftKings projections. Save these to a CSV file. And then we're going to go back into SaberSim. And there's one change that we're going to have to make here. Actually, we're not going to have to make any changes because of what I'm going to do here. Saber Sim. Somewhere. This is rule number one. Uh, don't attempt to demo if your technology doesn't work. Should be coming in a second. Business. Sorry, so we're going to upload from that CSV file that I just made. I think I did it. No, where did it go? Hmm. All right, well, let's go back to the, again, NFL projections. Did I never download that? Let's see. NFL projections, CSV, projections downloaded. Where is it? Is it in downloads? It is in downloads. Oh, okay. Let's go back into SaberSim. Upload. We're going to check off exclude unlisted players. <clears throat> this way, if Saberson gives somebody a 0.6 or something for the two-game slate, I don't want it. If it was a showdown slate, I would want it. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to build, you know, 100 lineups, excuse me, 5,000 lineups. We're going to not make any rules or anything like that. We're going to trust our projections and trust the 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 game by game simulations that are going to give us good lineups. And this is what we're going to start with. Um, and once this is done, I will unpause this. It shouldn't take more than about, see, I'll show you guys a little bit of progress. It shouldn't take more than, wow, it's going really fast. Actually, I don't think I have to pause this here at all. Maybe I, should, maybe I will have to pause here for about 30 seconds. All right, so what we're looking at here uh, is our top 100 uh, lineups out of the 5,000 we made. And how is this being sorted? This is really important. It's being sorted by Sabre score for a slate, which is going to have between 10K and 50K entrance. Uh, and it's a small slate, not a single game slate. It's a small slate because that's two. Um, and it's going to be between 10K and 50K entrance. So in, in doing this, we've created, well, we started with a good projection set, a, a good projection set. We had Saberson build some good lineups. And at this point, this is literally the bare minimum that you guys should do. Okay. Um, if you upload these just straight from here, is this going to be a good EV? It may be. I, I'm not even sure. That, this could be enough. I'm not, but, but one thing I think is a good idea is to, if you're going to just do this, is to change your min uniques to maybe min unique two or min unique three. Um, and this is like kind of important. I wouldn't worry too much about what the lineups look like, especially in two game slates. I mean, just kind of trust this, trust the process a little bit. Like you see this kind of weird old lineup with like four receivers and no quarterback. And you're like, Ooh, I would never play this. I wouldn't worry too much about that. I would just play. It. That's my own opinion. Um, so before I do anything, let me save these to my contest actually. So let, let's uh, upload our contest from, DraftKings, we already saved kind of lineups here. It makes it easier. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this, add these uh, settings to the contest sims because that's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to actually run these lineups against what we think people are going to play and try to increase our expected ROI that way. Um, but we're going to go back to our original build here. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to just – upload these to my contest. Again, I, I like doing that just to make sure that I have something in case I get in case I get distracted or something and something comes up. I want to at least have something decent in there. Now, the next thing you want to ask is what do you do next? Do you run the contest sims or do you try to uh, manually reduce ownership to try to get yourself unique? Like do you do geo mean filtering where you sp specify how little owned you want your lineup to be? Um, I don't think it's that important it, to do a geo mean filter in a two game slate, but it, I still think you should do it anyway. Um, just in case there is something that that's going to be like duped five times, you don't want to have it. So let's do kind of a, a, a test to see what we'd be looking for here. Well, we'll do the concept sim, sim in a second. So in that lottery, there's going to be 88,000 people. So we put that in our, oops, uh, in our 88,000 people, we put this in our geo mean calculator, which I will put on the site one of these days, I do promise. That's the formula, by the way. There are nine people in this lineup 
and let's say we want no more than one dupe. So you want a GL mean of 28.2. So what you can do, just to make sure, I would do this anyway. I mean, it's it's not that hard to have a GL mean of less than 28.2 anyway. So it's, you're better off just doing this. Okay. Ooh, it looks like it gave me a hard time. It only gave me 91 lineups with a GL mean. All right, that's actually very interesting. So what that means is that it's not so easy to get unique. And that is the stuff you have to do. Ooh, I like this, actually. So let's then give ourselves a little bit of a break. We'll change to 29. Oops. My metric. Less than 29. Ooh, this is pretty good. So that's, this is actually going to be a pretty big deal. So let's let's first, let's save these. We're probably going to be even, we're going to be able to do probably better because what I want to do next is I want to run the contest. Sim. So let's remove that filter for now. And we're going to run the contest sims. And we're going to now, instead of just taking the best 5,000 lineups, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, sorted by Sabre score, now we're going to resort these things by which lineups give us the best expected ROI in the actual tournaments we're playing, given what Saberson believes the other people in the field will play. It's not so much what Saberson feels that way. You know, it's taking, you know, it's ownership projections and, and, and simulating this. So uh, let's see, we're going to resort this, as I mentioned, by risk adjusted ROI. Now, again, this build, I think, will supersede that original Sabre score build if we opt to go this way. Let's see what we what we get when we go geo mean less than 28 over here. Now, again, we couldn't even get 100 of them in the Sabre score build. Here, once again, 92. Okay. So let's again... Uh, my metric... Less than 29. This is cool, man. I'm telling you, this is, I think this is the way you're supposed to play tonight. And that's, that's, that's my, the way I think about it. If it's kind of hard to get the amount of lineups with what you want to do, then it's probably, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, if I was only able to get five or something like that, then that's one thing. But if I'm really close to being able to get that type of uniqueness and I have to be a little bit uncomfortable, I think that's the way you're supposed to play tonight so that's that, that so this process is the way i would recommend attacking this slate you don't have to play exactly this way but you can use different projections you could use different filters whatever you want but i think that that for this particular slate i think that's important and for the wildcat again we'll just run we already ran the contest sim and i'm not too worried about geo mean there um but may as well right so let's see how many how many, uh, did I not do the, um, where is the wildcat? Contest some settings, wildcat. How many people are in that? 16, 68? May as well do this, right? 16, 68. For 43, so that's the, uh, to get geo mean of 43 is trivial, so we'll just take our top liner and put that in the wildcat. Now, again, I didn't talk about the games, I didn't talk about the plays or whatever it is. I think way too much content is spent on the plays. I can tell you the good plays. Are you know, it's a good play. Tyreek Hill is a good play, yeah, and to a tie value low, he's a good play also. Derrick Henry might be a good player. So um, that's pretty much it for the for the two game slate. I would go. I would. I would. I would be down with that. Uh, so again, if, if you've watched all three of the videos I've done in the NFL tonight, I mean they they're all really different. You know, it depends on what the slate looks like and what the what the builds look like. Which way you go? 
Do you worry about the contest sinks? Do you worry about, about geo mean filtering? It just really depends on what you're getting. Um, and if there was an actual answer, then I probably wouldn't tell you and I'd make billions, but there is none. And I'm just trying to learn like everybody else. So uh, that's pretty much it um, for the NFL today. I hope you watched all three videos and uh, good luck.